Hello, everybody. A little preview of the weekend in the NFL coming up. Minnesota at the Washington Commanders. I still can't get used to that name. Minnesota, three-point favorite, 43 and a half. You know, I like the change to Taylor Handicke. Um He becomes a lot of passion. He plays hard. He never gives up. And I believe the players appreciate that. I have not been a fan of the starting quarterback Washington chose to spend a lot of money for. But uh, I'm going to go with Haneke here. I think they have a good chance to keep this close. The Panthers blew a game last week. Cincinnati absolutely stunk up the joint against the Browns. It's hard to say what went on there but I can't believe that the Panthers are that good. They were also trading away. I mean, they fired the coach. They're trading away players. Bengals should bounce back here in this game. However, is there some internal issue there? Not a big fan of their coach. I know they got to the Super Bowl. A little too much analyticals for me. Next game, Buffalo, 11 and a half at the Jets. Total 46. You know, Zach Wilson has got a lot of talent. Uh, you know, it's it's he just is a little bit careless with the ball. But if he can calm down that and make better decisions, they have a chance to do some damage. And Buffalo very well could look past this club. Because the Jets, I mean, on paper, even when you look at them, they don't look that tough. Their record is good. Raiders at the Jaguars. You talk about two disappointing teams. The pros keep betting the Jaguars. They keep losing their money every week. Raiders are two-point favorite at the Jags. 48 is the total. I'm not going to even make comments on this game. <clears throat> Miami at the Bears. The Bears got rid of a couple defensive players, brought an offensive player. Miami's on the road at the Bears. Bad weather potentially there. Miami's a warm weather place, you know, they don't deal with high, low temperatures and bad weather very often, except for maybe some rain in South Florida. Bears could be dangerous here. It could be very, very dangerous, especially since the Dolphins are on the road again. The Packers at the Lions, you talk about, whew, hard to figure out this Packer team. You pay all that money to Aaron Rodgers and don't leave yourself any money to build around them. Not very, <coughs> excuse me, not very smart. The Lions, of course, they can score points. Total in this game is 49 and a half. I don't know. The Packers haven't shown me the ability to score points, even with Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback. So I'm, I'm staying away from that one as well. Seattle at the Cardinals. Uh, Cardinals are 249. They played a couple of weeks ago. It wasn't that high scoring. Geno Smith. No one thought Geno Smith would be this good. I mean, he's been around 10 years, never looked good. But now a switch went off, and this guy is playing better than anybody expected, leading the league in some, some departments. Arizona, uh, they got Hopkins back. He's definitely a weapon. He's definitely a target. Uh, Murray, uh, dangerous quarterback, don't usually play well at home, better on the road. I prefer the Seahawks here, but it's a skinny number. You're actually asking them to win the game. Very possible. Pete Carroll's doing a hell of a job with this team. Definitely improvement over Russell Wilson, who looks absolutely horrible in Denver. The Rams at the Buccaneers. Talk about two disappointing teams. This is a situation where the Rams paid the stars. They don't have much money to go around. They're lacking in wide receiver department. Cooper Cup is the only weapon they have. Throw the ball to that's really dependable. Robinson, of course, has potential. But they need more than that. And the Buccaneers, who knows what's really bothering this team. Buc you know, Tampa... Um, Brady is the, the divorce and all the other things, and he doesn't look healthy. I, I know he probably is, but he doesn't look it. I would have a hard time 
in this game. I have no idea what to do here. The Titans at the Chiefs. The Chiefs are 12 and a half, 46. You would expect, uh, especially with the backup quarterback for the Titans, if he goes, of course, Tannehill's no bargain anyway if he plays. But uh, the Chiefs should win this game pretty easily. Will they cover? Double-digit favorites in the NFL are not a good bet. Um, and, of course, uh, Andy Reid has an issue with his son. He's sentenced to prison. I think he got three years. Uh, tough, tough, tough. It's a, it's a tough game. There, there's a lot of teams off this week, so we're not getting as many teams to analyze. So that's it for me this week. We've had a, I mean, we had a game of the year in the World Series the other day. And we ended up with a no-hitter on our side, which I never expected it to be that easy. But it was. And uh, knock on wood, that good luck continues again this week in football and baseball and basketball. Because with the NBA going, uh, and uh, I, I like what I'm seeing in some of these teams in the NBA. So good luck this weekend. We'll talk to you soon.